Welcome guys, welcome back. So, one of the important parts in portfolio constructing we are going to see. Let's say if you are a product designer or maybe a process designer or a researcher or somebody or even graphic designers. Let's say if you are documenting some big work, it's very important to put in a portfolio, right? So, I will tell you not to exactly put what I am teaching now, but you can understand how the graphic element works and then you can use it to construct your portfolio short. Let's say if you want to make 5 pages, 10 pages or 20 pages, whatever, but you can apply these principles directly so that you can work on showing your complex data. See how uh, visuals are being deconstructed, how certain graph and pie charts are used. So you can see in this coming video. See, I've used the same strip elements, grey colour. I've used half of the screen so that I can show the half of project. Remaining half, I'll show it inside. So that's the same curious element I told you. Again, same work. Again, see, actually this particular data, whatever I've shown, no, it's actually a 10 page document. It's a very, very long uh, uh, document in the Google, which is taken from WHO site. But you know how I put the data here? See? There is some death happening for the babies. What I put is above age to 15, it's 1 million. Below less than 5 years, it's 1.3 million. Less than 1 year, it's 1.5 million. It is less than 1 month, 2.6 million babies are dying. So I'm indicating a status about baby death. Okay. See, I have put 4 boxes. I've divided the column into 4. I put the numbers on top of each of the ones. So, in different age category, what the depth of the uh, babies are. I put a symbol of less than, so that it goes like that. It's less than the 5, it's less than the 1, it's less than the 1 month. So, by seeing it, people can, in less than 30 seconds, they'll understand, yes, less than 1 month babies are dying more, which is 2.6 million. Very huge. Yeah, we need to do something about this. See? How certain provoking decisions are coming when you put right data in front of you. Simple guys. And you need to credit it also. That's one of the important things I'm doing. If you're projecting data, you need to show in, in simple forms. See, people don't have time to read a bigger paragraph. Of course, on the, on the top of this document, there is a three lines. Even that also people won't read. That is why this kind of a projection with the visuals, which is infographical elements are very interesting for you to see. see? I have categorized some disease categories. So what are the reasons for the transport? Let's say it's due to some reasons babies are transported for some medical emergency. So what is the reasons for their transport? Okay, we'll try to understand. Instead of see the left side, I put six reasons and I put numbers also. Respiratory distress, babies are transported. Prematurity, babies are transported. Some categories, okay. Instead of showing these boring numbers, see the right side, how graphically it's been shown in colors. See, 43% of the babies are transported for respiratory problems. Simple, right? Instead of going through the voluminous amount of data and huge context of text, now my data is clear. 43% babies are transported for respiratory reasons. If I devise a respiratory product, my problem is solved. See, even the decisions could be much made faster. The decisions could be very smartly made, quickly made, if you project the data. It's all about how you document your work. Guys. It's not about putting large amount of text. It's not about putting large amount of text. It's about just choosing best picture. See, one simple data, how quickly people can able to get it. So have you seen some graphics happening? That's okay guys. If you want, you can do that, but it's not a mandatory thing. If you're showing your portfolio via a PDF file, of course that's not possible. But if you're showing as a website design or web portfolio, yeah, you can choose your own visuals to show. See, these are all the hospitals I visited. I've just put it like an icons and symbol. So, people can know, hey, because people can recognize logos and colors easily rather than reading text. That's why putting these logos directly is... See how bulleted I've mentioned. The first is the important bullet. Second is the less important. Third is less important. Fourth is not important. I've hierarchy based, I put the, uh, what do you call it, button shapes. The first button is very big, Mr. Six of On coming down, it's coming down. So, visually also, how do you represent your hierarchy of data? Okay? Very, very important is, please pay close attention. This is one of the important things. Okay, I have found 230 problems in my research, okay? What other research is there? We are not discussing technical here. I'm just telling 230 problems I found in research. How will I segregate it? See, I've segregated it based on mechanical. I've segregated it based on electrical. I've segregated it based on ergonomics. See, I put numbers also, 116, 52, 59. Out of 116, there are four subdivisions which constitutes to 26, 32, 47. See, in the mechanical problem, I have hood, trolley, general mechanical mattress. See, when people are actually seeing this data, they'll very clearly see what's happening. 
can you see the right side pie chart yellow color is 50% of the problem is relating to mechanical if we work with our mechanical team carefully our majority 50% problem is gone see this is how people will take decisions guys this is how people will fund your projects this is how people will see the actual reality and the scope of the topic what you're talking about it's not the boring sentence definitely that's why i'm showing you how to even break down the complex information see first of all you need to understand the depth of the concept correctly second you need to chart it out quickly how do i show it easily for people how do i show it to a kid of 10 years or 15 years you have to think like that and then choose elements for there are many tools in software guys like, like ppt keynote or uh, photoshop you can use any visuals there are uh, actually i've used keynote for constructing this portfolio i've used this as a pie chart 3d depth you can use that if you just input the data it will automatically flow the chart see electronics is 22 ergonomics is 26 in that particular mechanical see how much subdivision is there people will have a very crystal clear understanding of this chart actually you can break down the chart and write it down into 10 pages also but still this is a summary of data let's say if you have a lot of data which you can't avoid which you have to really put in one page okay guys in that case you can you can work like this you can put a very thin lines in between can you see nine different segregations are here i put a thin lines what i told you for iphone uh, mac or ipad I, ipad or ios applications people use uh, segregation to separate different elements and items to different options in a list of large elements. see i have shown you point for mm thickness this thing. 1 mm thickness line with it. See how they segregated. And then I placed left a line easy so that the problems are known. And near to the problem, I marked the severity also. 11, 4, 11. Can you see? Because that much of repeatability that problem has happened. So people will obviously focus on the bigger ones. See, out of the first priority, ergonomics. 11 problems are there for space management. What is that? Come on, tell me. We'll ideate on that. Come. So people will take decisions just like that. When you're presenting it to a higher management or when you're presenting it to a interviewer or when you're presenting it to a guy who is responsible for this project, he will need only this much of meta level information, macro level information they call. He need not have to go to grassroots to verify. You are actually doing it. So how do you project it? This is how. Obviously, rest is not very important now. He will work on the first two, three items, which is ergonomics, mechanical, enough. You know? See? This is how we segregated different elements. See, one icon also I put, one text also I put, because icons are very powerful. I told about semiotics and its sign importance. Even you can force your user's eyes to travel in a form of Z or zigzag, which we saw in the previous video. Same like that, small icons you can put to communicate visually strongly. See, this is how certain problems are listed. And the tick made is actually done. The tick which is not made is yet to be done. See, this is how you have to simply communicate a meaning. This is again the same picture, I'm not showing you much anymore, okay? So one more example, if you're doing any team activity, if you're doing any brainstorming or something, please put a picture with you guys. Because if you put a picture of you or a video, people will have a much more coherence, hey, this guy has done some hands-on work, this guy is actually a team player. People will get that perception very quickly. Rather than explaining I'm a team player, I work with team, I do this, that, no. Just show one picture or one video, that's enough. So see the right side, how much mapping is being done. So I put in the bottom, we have generated 100 plus ideas in one meeting, see. So people will understand, hey, this guy is capable of gathering the team and gather a lot of information, 100 plus ideas. Yeah, he must be some good guy. At least they'll have some perception about it. Whether it's good, bad, that's fine. How intense it is, that's different. But at least they'll get an impression. See? With the elements, again with the bullet points, how certain elements can be placed. If you're explaining some new concept, this is how you need to explain the number, the icon, the statistics, and see. So again, uh, I mean, I won't uh, talk about much of this in details, but I'll tell about this ideation in detail. So because when you're ideating many concepts, let's say one or more or 10 or 20, how to represent it, how to put it in a form of sketches in portfolio. We'll see it in the coming videos, guys.